welcome to our channel. Aquagate, together for sustainable aquaculture. In this video, we will show you the clinical signs of shrimp infected with the bacteria Vibrio parahemolyticus. The shrimp you see here is a healthy shrimp before being infected with bacteria. Its condition is normal, it is very active, has a good appetite, and shows no signs of abnormalities. A healthy shrimp typically has a vibrant and even coloration that is characteristic of its species. Healthy shrimp are lively and responsive. They swim quickly and actively in the water. Healthy shrimp have a good appetite and feed enthusiastically, showing no signs of reluctance toward food. A healthy shrimp has a clean, undamaged shell. There should be no signs of damage, swelling, or abnormalities on the exoskeleton. The vent area, or orifice, of a healthy shrimp appears normal, without signs of infection or inflammation. Healthy shrimp do not exhibit abnormal signs such as white spots, red patches, or swelling on their body. Healthy shrimp do not appear weak or stressed. They should not show difficulty breathing or other obvious problems. After observing these healthy shrimp, let's take a look at how shrimp with Vibrio parahemolyticus bacterial infection appear. We conducted an experiment by injecting 0.1 milliliters of Vibrio parahemolyticus bacteria into each shrimp and observed them for seven days. Clinical signs begin to be observed 24 hours after infection. First, let's see the shrimp that are showing signs of clustering in the corners of the aquarium. This remaining feed has been in the water for four hours after feeding. The remaining feed indicates that the shrimp's appetite has decreased, resulting in a large amount of uneaten food. Another clinical sign is that the shrimp appear less active, lethargic, often remaining in one or a few spots and not showing the normal level of movement. Following the onset of movement impairments, characterized by the shrimp remaining stationary during the initiation phase, they subsequently progress to the acute phase where they exhibit abnormal positioning, such as being overturned. This stage generally persists for several hours before the shrimp succumb to death. Initially, the walking and swimming legs of the shrimp exhibit rapid movement, but gradually, their motion slows until cessation. Additionally, the ocular peduncles, which were initially extended, retract inward, indicating the onset of mortality. Upon closer examination, changes in the color of the hepatopancreas can be observed. The infected shrimp exhibit necrosis in the hepatopancreas, resulting in a paler coloration. Additionally, the intestines and stomach of the infected shrimp appear empty. These are some of the clinical signs observed in shrimp infected with Vibrio parahemolyticus, based on our laboratory scale observations. We hope this information is useful and serves as a resource for the early detection of clinical signs caused by bacterial infections, and that it contributes to improving control measures for the sustainability of aquaculture. Thank you.